What's going on guys? Etika from the Etika World Network here and today we have a lot to talk about when it comes to F-Zero. Now this article recently hit my Nintendo news and Owen Mel Ritter, I don't know how to pronounce his name exactly, but um, he showed me this article. So shout outs to you my friend. And dudes, it involves F-Zero, a title that a lot of us were hoping that we would see even though we knew the chances were nil for E3 this year. To be honest, F-Zero probably would have made E3 get a lot more hype because a lot of people saying Nintendo's E3 was meh. But Regardless, there's an article now which is speaking about Nintendo actually approaching a company to help make an F-Zero game for the Wii U, but I don't know where the context is, if it was a cancelled project or whatever. Once again, this will be in the description as usual for all my videos, so without any further ado, let's get into this right now. Um, yeah, once again, shout out to Owen Mel Hitter. Yeah, so um, we're going to go to the My Nintendo News article right now. And they apparently asked Burnout developers to make an F-Zero for Wii U. And Burnout, if you guys don't know, is a really popular racing series. So, I mean, to be honest, I think that's a really good idea. But let's see exactly what's happening here. Because from what the article's title is, it's talking about this as if it's in the past tense. So that probably means that this didn't, well, this didn't really work out or whatever. But um, let's see. So, we all wanted an F-Zero title to come to the Wii U. And we nearly received one. Liam Robertson is reporting that Nintendo approached Cry to come um, Cry... Criterion Games? I, I apologize, you know, you know my, my pronunciation is horrible on this channel. I'm Criterion Games, the company behind Burnout and Need for Speed, to ask them whether they'd be interested in developing the futuristic racing series for the Wii U. The company approached um, C Games, I'll just call it that, back in 2011, but the developer was too busy with other projects to commit to such a task. Um, so there's a video that's actually correlating with this as well too, so let's check out the video. Okay. So let's see exactly what's going on here. Recently, I found myself looking into a series of rumors about several Nintendo projects that were swapped early on, in which some of them made the function. Some of these ended very early in production, and the majority were really intense at the beginning. While we swapped parts and all that Well, to be honest with you guys, like I said, this will be in the description, but um, it seems like the article basically told us all the details. Apparently, Nintendo was trying to get an F-Zero for the Wii U way back in 2011. Um, you know, 2011, that's around when the Wii U came out. Really, like, like that's, I mean, well, yeah, that, that's like really early in the Wii U's lifetime. And the Wii U's been on the market since when? Um, 2000, like, like, you know what, let me see right now just so I don't sound like a fucking idiot, um, Wiki. Because when did the Wii U come out and hit, like... I don't know these dates off the top of my head, so we're going to learn this right now. So for future reference, I'll understand exactly when. The Wii U was released in the United States on November 18th, 2012. Maybe Nintendo was trying to reach for a launch title for F-Zero, but then again, considering that they approached them in 2011, definitely wouldn't have made launch title window status. But 2012 was when the Wii U came out in America. And um, let's see, in Japan, it came out December 8th, 2012. Okay, so 2012 basically for everything. It's a little bit it's a little bit sad to be honest with you because you know considering that these guys the, the company that they approached rather developed Burnout and Need for Speed which are both games that are really well loved in the community right now um, my, my favorite racing game currently is Midnight Club but I mean still these are some really big titles for racing games and it's just too bad that this thing wasn't able to come to fruition I remember um, Miyamoto saying at one point that it was due to the controller as well not being made for F-Zero or not being adapted to fit F-Zero standards or whatever which is kind of ridiculous in my eyes because he made Star Fox Zero look so magnificent with that gamepad but I mean you know who am I to judge we aren't game developers at the end of the day so we don't really know the hurdles some of you are but most of us aren't anyways guys let me know what you think about this in the comments we almost had an F-Zero game come out on the Wii U Nintendo did inquire about it which makes me feel a little bit better inside because the fact that they still did care about F-Zero enough to actually try to get some progress on the game series is good enough for me in my opinion well I mean, it's not good enough for me but it's good to know that Nintendo cared to that point that's what I'm happy about the fact that they like looked into it they looked into that shit they tried to find out if they can get the shit done by a developer who knows what they're doing when it comes to these racing games, but they were just too swamped to be able to do so. I really hope that Nintendo was aiming and gunning for other companies to try to undergo the task, or maybe even try to get it done in-house. You know what I mean? Like I mentioned before, I would love to see Sora work on an F-Zero game, considering that they basically have Falcon in his best state on Smash Brothers currently, but that's a little bit of a tall order, considering how busy Sora is with Smash Brothers, DLC, the ballot, and all that other stuff. Anyways, guys, let me know what you think about this in the comments, and I'll talk to you in the next video. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.